Hey, you guys, I'm Roxanne Speed with Enjoying Life Supernaturally. Before I give the word of the Lord, if you guys have not yet reserved your spot in the prophetic ministry breakout session, you guys, please do so. God is doing healing, signs, and wonders. He's answering your questions, giving you next steps, setting you free. This is like no other. Nobody else is doing this. There's a small spot fee. You guys, it's so worth it. You will not regret it. All right, everything you need to sign up is in the description. Okay, you guys, today before I give the word of the Lord, we're going to breathe in. We're just going to breathe out. Because, you know, getting the word of the Lord in your heart as a seed to take root, we still have to work with the natural body. We have to relax and receive it and process it. All right, you guys, the Lord says today that you have just entered a season of the new, of all that I've promised you. But... He says, I need you to take your eyes off of you. Stop settling for mediocrity in your thinking. Check your thoughts. Do they line up with my word? Are they positive, life-giving, admirable, excellent, of a good rapport? Fight. Your mind is the battlefield and I need you to fight, soldier. The Lord says, I can't do all that I want to do in you if you don't give me a little bit to work with. The Holy Spirit says, I am there. I am upon you, in you. I'm working with you and through you, but I need your cooperation. The Lord says, get radical in your faith and imagination. Get radical in letting your imagination work with you to work with me to receive a download of the spiritual information that I want to give you picture things see things use your mind the enemy has had you bound so long that you don't know how to do these things you don't know how to take yourself off yourself but you want to so the Lord says I'm here to deliver you you don't yet know how to Get into a pattern and it being second nature to think on positive things. So I'm implanting it in you today. Write the word, my word, on the tablet of your heart. Know it, think it, speak it, meditate on it. Even Jesus had to quote scripture against the enemy when he was tested and tried in the wilderness for 40 days and 40 nights. It's okay. When the Lord asks you to do a thing, he'll give you the knowledge to know how to do it, the wisdom to see it through effectively. This is a season where I beseech you to walk in the mercies and the grace of our Lord. It's the empowerment, it's the anointing, it's the ability, enablement that the Holy Spirit comes to give you to do a thing that you couldn't do in the natural. That's why it's called supernatural grace. Lean on me. Jesus says, you're tired. But he says, come to me because you labor and you burden and you're heavy laden. For I'm gentle and humble in spirit. He says, learn of me. I'll give you rest and relaxation for your souls. I'll restore you. He says, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. There's a flood of grace. There's a river of grace that's being poured out right now through my prophet, my servant. You're feeling the power of my Holy Spirit being released to you and through you. The fire of God is consuming you. I said that I would do signs, wonders, and miracles on the earth below to attest to my power and my goodness and my glory and you are a glory carrier. Mm. You're going to stretch forth your hand and you're going to pray and they will recover. You're going to raise the dead. You will heal the sick. You will cast out demons. You will preach the gospel in whatever form or fashion and you will be effective. I need you in this army to rise up. The Lord says, I am strengthening your stakes. I'm putting down your anchors for this season I have brought you into. It's a season of destiny, but don't think you're not going to learn and train and grow in the spirit 
crucifying the flesh. The Lord Jesus said, I have to increase in you, so you have to decrease. See, it's not you who live any longer, says the Lord. It's I, Christ Jesus, who live in and through you. You're going to get to a place where you walk so great with me, so glorious with me, that you tell everyone, and Apostle Paul did, follow me as I follow Christ. Imitate me as I imitate Christ Jesus. Jesus says you can do it. You will do it. Just walk through it. He says, I got you. I'm the one holding you up when you sink because you walked on the water. You're a water walker, says the Lord. And Jesus says, I'm summoning you to come, to come. Make radical decisions. Be quick in your decisions because I hear your prayers. This season needs speedy delivery. You need to deliver on the things in which I'm telling you to do says the Lord. Mm. The Holy Spirit says you're a wrecking ball. You're going to wreck through every area I have called you to, and you're going to bring peace, love, and joy. You're going to drive out darkness, and you're going to bring my light and my love. So when you're stressed, when you're scared, when you have no peace and you're double-minded, stop looking at within and look at without Who's next, Jesus? Who do I bless next, Jesus? And you're going to hear me saying, this is the way, walk in it. You're prophetic. You're called according to my will and purposes. Now move on what I tell you to do. This is a challenge, says the Lord. You love me. You'll obey me. Go reach my people today. The Holy Spirit is going to speak to you and give you a challenge. Go encourage that person. Go do this. And you need to respond. The Lord says it's going to be fun. It'll be an adventure. And we are going to grow so close in intimacy, in bonding together, that it's going to change your relationship with me. You're going to encounter me in ways that are going to blow your mind. You're going to feel me in ways that are undeniable. You're going to know me so you can get through the darkest valley or the greatest storm won't move you anymore won't phase you anymore because I am for you and I want you to accomplish all that I've called you to and you will says the Lord all right guys when he stops I stop so again if you have not signed up for the prophetic ministry breakout session please do so it's one session there's no commitment guys there's a tiny um, spot fee for it signs wonders miracles God's blowing our minds with his accuracy his detail the freedom I mean everything he's doing is unheard of but he's doing it now and it's going to get better and better. All right, guys, if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please do so. Help me with the algorithm to reach far and wide. Everybody needs the gospel. They need the rhema word as you do. Hit share. Share with three people, please. It takes two seconds. Hit the like button. Do the work of an evangelist, you guys. It's in the Bible. God's pleased. When you refresh others, you too shall be refreshed. Right, if you've not given, sown, or donated into this ministry, but I feed you, the Lord feeds you, it blesses you. You want to help me reach the nation, this nation, with restoration in Jesus Christ. Please give. You guys, you can't outgive God. He gives back in ways you can't even imagine. All right, you guys. Keep commenting. Keep loving each other. Keep being kind. We're the church. We're rocking it. I'm proud of you, and so is Christ. I love you. See you next time.